to work on the two basic directions for Tai Sabaki. One to the power hand or one to the surite side, the, the lifting pulling hand, and the other to the sleeve hand or the hikite, the pulling hand side. So let's take a look at it, okay? Let's look at Tai Sabaki from two different directions of how to move. Now, Tai Sabaki is this. Tai Sabaki means body management, but it always implies in a circular direction. And it always also implies leading to a specific action that the Tori or the attacker is taking. So in this case, Derek is going to be the attacker, and we're going to work on the two basic directions for Tai Sabaki. One to the power hand or one to the surite side, the, the lifting pulling hand, and the other to the sleeve hand or the hikite, the pulling hand side. So let's take a look at it. And, and we're going to be using this with Ippon Soenagi. So you can use the same throw, but setting them up two different ways using Tai Sabaki. That's what, that's what we're doing here. So let's take a look at the, the grip. For, first of all, to turn on, guys, we're getting up. We're using just a kumikata, basic standard kumikata lapel and sleeve grip, standard grip that we, we all use as your starting point in judo and sambo. Okay, so we got that. Now we're gonna be using the first direction to the power hand or to the surite, the lifting hand. And what he's going to be doing, Derek is going to be pulling Eric around to his right, to his power hand. I often say, pull him to your hip. And you see, the reason I say pulling him to your hip is because of this. He pulled him to his hip. So when he pulled him around, notice that the hip is right there, ready to go, okay? So, and he can just fit directly in, don't even throw, just say Nike, just pick up really nice setting. Okay, so, so pull him around, get into your power hand, your hip, and say Nike, there you go. No need to throw him because you, you get the idea, okay? So when you do that quickly, in, in a real practical situation, you're gonna be kind of leaning with your foot a little bit, you're gonna be setting him up, and as you do that, you'll step him, okay, go a step him, oh, see how he rolls right into it. It's like he walked into it, because he did. He did. So he pulled him around to his power hand, to his surite, or to his hip. Okay. Now the second direction is the opposite direction. It's going to be going to the sleeve hand. Turn right here, the sleeve hand. So he, he's going to be taking this direction. He's still going to be using a ponsei nagi. Okay. But what he's going to be doing, he's going to be pulling around this way, and he's going to be creating a hole right here that he could hit the Suyanagi, like that, okay? I'm pulling him, I'll just come around. When I'm pulling him this way, now notice I'm looking at the back of my hand, and like I had a wristwatch, okay, looking at my wristwatch, and I'm using what's what we call a line of pull. And it's very important when you use your hikite and your, 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 your pulling hand on the sleeve here, it, to, to pop it up like this, there's a little more of a pop. And in both cases, and also with the, the surite, there's going to be a pop there too. But you'll need it more on your hikite. Generally, that just happens that way. So if I'm pulling him around here and I pop him, pop him up there, there I'm creating that hole. That's that's what he's doing. So I notice the straight line of pull of my elbow, the direction right here, and I can just come right in. So that's what he's doing. Can you fit it again? And he's not going to throw him. He's just going to fit in. And when he comes around, he pops it up, fits it in. So in this crash, he's really creating a big hole here with his hiki tape by popping it up and like that, and there it is. So what you're seeing is, is a, a fundamental movement pattern in judo. And again, there are three fundamental movement patterns. Tai sabaki in a circular direction. Um, uh, sugiyashi, which is a send after action. You can use it either sideways or forward or back. And a yumiyashi, which is just normal walking pattern. So those are the three primary methods of, of movement in, in, in judo, certainly in sambo or any sport where we use throwing techniques. But judo was the one that really developed this methodology, and it really, really is, is great. So anyway, that's what using Tai Sabaki, the two primary ways to set somebody up.